over the summer we enclosed in muslin bags some seed heads of Banksia marginata on the Green Line project between Koroit and Minamite. We did this in order to protect these maturing pods from the ravages of the yellow-tailed black cockatoo. We enclosed semi-mature pods in these muslin bags, which are great because they're reusable, in order to fox the cockatoos so that we could collect some of these precious seeds and grow them to plant more of these trees along the Green Line project. So I just wanted to show you what the seed capsule, how it sits within the pod. So you notice that all these little features here that look like lips that have opened, these are ones that have already lost their seed, but here's one that hasn't. So in the middle of this you have a hard piece, and on either side of that hard piece, there goes that, you also have two seeds, which are very fine, blow quite well in the wind one on each side, and the yellow tails get in there and they pick these apart looking for those seeds. They do um, an important job of I suppose dispersing the seeds that fall to the ground and catch the wind and blow away from the parent tree, but when you're trying to collect some seeds to grow, protecting some of these pods from the birds is quite important. So that's what we did over the summer with 40 flowers, and now we have quite a number of seed pods that are almost Either, either dropping their seeds out of them, or like this one, you've got one side that is, and this side here where the follicles are still tightly shut. But by leaving them out in the weather under the cover, these will open in their own time and we'll be able to collect the seeds. The muslin bags are applied to the flowers as they mature, so they've finished being pollinated on the tree in situ in the bush. They prevent the yellow-tailed black cockatoos from getting in, and allow us to go back at a later date once the seeds are mature and collect them and preserve them.